Hey, here's how to install Steam on a Chromebook. I'll go ahead and click on your Chrome browser. Once you've clicked on that, go ahead and type in store. Steam. Don't forget to smash the like, subscribe, and bell button, and comment down the game you are trying to play with Steam. Steampowered.com and hit enter. Once you've typed that, just wait for it to load. Now we want to go ahead and click on in the install Steam button at the top right hand side. Once you've clicked on that, it says install Steam. However, it says also available on Windows, on Mac, and on Linux. We want to go ahead and click on this Linux side. Now, once we've clicked on that, we want to go ahead and save this in our downloads. Now, once it's done downloading, click on show and folder, and then we want to go ahead and right click this file. Now, click copy, and then we want to go ahead and paste this in our Linux files. Now, once you've pasted this, right click this again and rename it. Now, we want to just rename it to Steam, take away the Steam latest, and then just make a Steam and hit enter. Now, once you're done with that, we can move to the next step. Now, first things first, we want to go ahead and type in cart slash etc slash debian underscore version now this code is to ensure that our debian version is at least version 10 and above mine is 11.7 that means that i'm in the safe zone next you want to go ahead and type in sudo space dpkg space double hyphen add another hyphen type in architecture and then go ahead and type in Bring another space and type in I386 and hit enter. This is to ensure that even if your Chromebook is a 32-bit Chromebook, it still works for you. Now we want to go ahead and type in sudo space apt space updates and then hit enter. Now once that is done, you want to go ahead and type in sudo space apt space upgrade. That makes it upgrade. Now go ahead and hit Y when you're prompted and wait for it to finish. Now once that is done, just go ahead and click the link down in the description to get to my website. Once on my website, go ahead and copy this last code which says sudo apt and ends with zenity. Just go ahead and copy this ctrc and right click it into the terminal and hit enter. Now it's going to ask you Y slash N, just go ahead and hit Y and then hit enter again and wait for this to finish. Excellent. Now, once that is done, we want to click in there again. And then this time around, we want to go ahead and type sudo space dpkg space hyphen i, another space, and type in. This is the most important part, so pay attention. We named our file steam.dev. So go ahead and type in steam.dev. If you named it anything differently, use that here. Good. Now on our first run, you're going to see that it's going to give us an error telling us that dpkg was prevented from running. So what we're going to go ahead and type now is sudo space apt space double hyphen fix another hyphen and type broken and then hit space and type install and hit enter. Now it's going to fix all of that. So hit Y and then hit enter. Good. Now, once that is done, we want to go back and type the code because it was unable to run due to the error. So go ahead and type in sudo space dpkg space hyphen i and then type in steam.deb if that was the name of your file and hit enter. Good. Now, this time around, it ran perfectly. Now, the last code here is steam space fixed v blank underscore mode equals zero and then hit enter and wait for it to load now as you can see it tells us that the package cache seems to be out of date so we want to go ahead and hit enter and wait for that to update now it says press return to proceed with the initial installation so just hit enter again and wait for that to start now hit y when it prompts you and then hit enter again now all we have to do is wait for this to finish installing i will say press return to continue so just go ahead and hit enter once again and wait for it to load now at this point it's going to update and install steam so all we have to do is just wait good now a pop-up window is going to come and it's going to say not responding to the steam web helper so just go ahead and choose restart steam or leave it there and click ok good now we're not done with the installation yet we need to sign up and sign in and continue over there 
but before that go ahead and click your launcher and then you're going to see that steam is now an app that you could use or click on from your launcher however i'm going to sign in and i'll see you guys on the other side for the full installation process and we're going to wait for about 30 seconds to one minute for steam to load it's loading in the background as you can see on the left hand side once that is done you can now see options on your screen now now we want to go ahead and go to the top left hand side we want to go ahead and right click this or left click that and then we want to go ahead and click on settings now this is going to launch up or launch us into this space once here just go ahead and click on interface and then scroll all the way down to the place that says enable gpu accelerated rendering in web views requires restart go ahead and click this out and then click on restart now good now once you're done with that you're going to see that steam has perfectly loaded up now for the sake of this video i'm going to use a game called underway so i'm going to type that in my search bar and wait for it to load up now i'm going to click on free it's a free game basically but i'm going to use it as an example now you want to go ahead and scroll down to whatever game you want to play and click on play game now this is the most crucial part of this whole video as you can see it says an error occurred whilst launching this game and valid platform so i'll click on close now that is not um, that big of an issue i'm going to click on add to library and then i'm going to click on ok now i'm going to go ahead and click on the library at the top here and i'm going to click on let's say home or collection either one of them is fine now once i click on the underway you're going to see that it's grayed out it's grayed out meaning that it's not available for linux and so this is the trick that i'm going to show you guys that is going to work for you so pay attention now we want to go back to the left top hand side and click on the steam icon and go ahead and click on settings now once you've done that go ahead and click on compatibility and then you want to enable steam play for all other titles go ahead and enable this option and then restart steam immediately now once you've restarted steam just go back to your library and click on home and i can go back to underway and you can see that now it allows me to install it now pay attention to this part as well go ahead and click on the setting icon at the right hand side and then click on either of these but properties will be best once you've clicked on properties go ahead and click on compatibility and then click on the force the use of a specific steam play compatibility click on that and then you can go ahead and exit out of this once you're here we can click on install now it's going to ask you where you want to install it or whether you want a shortcut you can click any of them and just click on install but now it's done and it's verifying i can go ahead and click on that and go ahead and click on downloads here now as you can see you can see the Steam Linux runtime and you can see the Proton Experimental. Once that is done, it's going to get these two downloaded as well. As you can see at the bottom right hand side, it's downloaded all three of them. Hold on, we are not done just yet. Go ahead and click on Steam again and then click on Settings. Once there, go ahead and click on Compatibility and then go ahead and click on the Proton Experimental. Now, I will prefer that you click on Proton 9.0.2. That might be best. However, you could also just stay on the experimental if that is fine for you. However, you can just go ahead and click out of this and then we can click play. So as you can see, I'm moving my character around. I can play with the normal arrow keys. Everything works just like on a Windows computer. So don't worry about that. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like, subscribe and bell button. Or if you had any issues with this video, just go ahead and comment it down. I'll be able to help you from the comment section. With that said, it's your boy gd 7 plays and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Thank you.